Welcome guys to the first fishing episode in my survival guide series. Today we're going to be looking at the tier 1 fishing location off the coast of the Barrens. This spot can be fished safely at level 10 and requires a minimum 50 fishing skill and with a lure of 50 and a skill over 100, you're not going to miss any of your casts. There's other fishing locations such as Dark Shore, Silver Pine Forest, and Westfall which fall in this tier 1 fishing location and they drop the same loot from the trunks. This spot in particular is unique because of the tier 2 weapon crates that spawn along the coast and respawn every 10 minutes. After fishing this location for one hour, I was able to retrieve 6 weapon crates with the use of the dwarven racial treasure finding and nearly tripled my profits. So let's take a look at what we received in one hour of fishing at this location. If you're doing a solo self found hardcore run and not using the auction house, trading, or using the mailbox, fishing each of these locations can provide you with key materials uh, and additional gold for training abilities or buying vendor weapons along your journey. In 17 boxes, I received 12 silver and raw gold, and after vendoring everything inside, an additional 50 silver. Light leather can only be fished out of these tier 1 crates, and you need 6 to craft flying tiger goggles if you're mining and engineering. Additionally, you'll need 4 medium leather for the upgraded green tinted goggles, and later on, heavy leather for tier 2 target dummies. We ended up with 46 light leather, 10 medium leather, lots of bolts of linen and wool cloth, 3 green items, 4 lesser healing potions, and 8 minor mana potions some strangle kelp, 62 black mouth oils, and 3 rumsy rum light. Now for the 6 weapon crates we picked up, I was able to vendor the grey weapons for a gold and 15 silver. So in 1 hour we farmed 1 gold, 75 silver, stocked up on health and mana potions, stored away some 15 minute stamina buffs for difficult quests, and had a chance at some green item upgrades. I found that after fishing the coast for 1 hour non-stop, around the 50 minute mark it felt like I exhausted the respawns, and with 1 or 2 other people fishing the coast at the same time, it won't be nearly as lucrative as what you see in this video. I did it with no competition. Uh, if you have an hour to spare, this is what you can expect to retrieve fishing off the coast in the Barrens. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video and don't forget to check out my other survival guide videos in the description below.